part two. If you watched the first video or you know me, then you know I'm a huge Stargate fan. And just like every other Stargate fan, I was pretty much skeptical about Stargate Universe beginning. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I even touted around, just like every other Stargate fan, the phrase Stargate Voyager 90210 until I started reading about it and I started getting a little pumped. You know, it sounded pretty cool and I saw the preview for it after the end of Battlestar Galactica's final episode and I, that made me hugely pumped for this show and I couldn't wait for it to come out and I couldn't wait to watch it. It seemed like a brilliant idea and it was a new direction for the series and I think the, the series needed a new direction. To keep something alive, you need to change it up. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over again or else it'll it'll fall flat and it won't be the great franchise that it once was. You'll just have it repeating itself over and over again. So I I am I'm happy in the direction that the show went and I want this to be known too. Stargate franchise is my is is my number one. And when it comes to this show, these shows, they are all tied, all three of them are tied as my number one favorite shows of all time. And I rank them, and Stargate Atlantis is pretty much on the top. So Stargate Atlantis is my number one, number one, to say the least. And I want people to know that as a huge Stargate Atlantis fan, I never ever once blamed Stargate Universe as the end of Stargate Atlantis. That's a foolish argument. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. And I don't know why people think it does. It, it's just stupid. So when Stargate Universe finally aired, I was happy, I was I was pumped, and when I finally got to watch it, I was ecstatic. It's a great show, it's a great addition to the franchise, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm happy that the series took this new direction. I think it's the right direction, and I don't see why so many people are complaining about it. Uh, for instance, my favorite character on the show is Eli. I know that a lot of people uh, have Eli probably as their favorite character, and it's completely understandable because a lot of us watching Stargate are complete other nerds and it's easy to relate to that character. And he's quickly becoming my top favorite character in the entire franchise, which, if anybody knows me, is pretty difficult since McKay is my not only my top favorite character in the Stargate franchise, but my favorite character pretty much of all time. I think that Eli is fantastic and I think that the character of Eli uh, pretty much helps make a lot of the show. You know, he clearly brings the the, all of the characters together, and I like uh, that he sides with the military. I think that's kind of uh, interesting for his character. But now these so-called fans are harassing actors because of the characters they portray, or because of the storylines that their characters are in, and it makes me wonder: are, are these people five? And some of these some of these people that hate SGU claim to have PhDs. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if the show is taking a new direction, and it's it's it makes sense for the show to take this time this kind of direction for the franchise to make this kind of direction. It needed a change. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over again, or it gets stale. And it, I like where the series has gone. I can understand if you don't like Stargate Universe, but nobody's making you watch it. And Stargate Universe existing doesn't mean that Stargate SG-1 has changed or that Stargate Atlantis has changed or that Continuum or Arc of Truth have changed. Those are the same. Those are the same entities. Nothing has changed for those. So if you don't like Stargate Universe, don't watch it. And for the love of the gods, don't make a website about it. How ridiculous does that look? You make a website? to bring in fellow haters of Stargate Universe? I, why do you even take the time out of your day to do that? I, I don't even, I can't even comprehend that. I can comprehend fan sites, but hate sites? I, do, does anybody realize that? There's a Stargate hate site. Do you know what there are also? There are hate sites that are pro-Nazi, pro-white supremacist, and now there's a pro Stargate, Stargate Atlantis, Stargate SG-1 over Stargate Universe website, it's a hate site. And it hates on the actors, it hates on the actors' families, it hates on the creators and the writers and the directors. And that does not make sense. I cannot comprehend why these people would go and they would create a hate site for a television show. It, it, it's, it's inconceivable. It just, 
There, there, there are no words to explain the stupidity of this. And all I can say is, for the actors on Stargate Universe, you guys are great. You guys are fantastic. I love that you guys are on Twitter. I love that you are part of the fan community. I love that you are interacting with us. And please don't stop. Please just don't ever listen to these complete utter D-bags. Don't think that the the fans are anywhere near the level of these creeps, because we're not. We definitely are not. We all love you. The true fans of Stargate are behind you guys 100%. Don't change. Don't, don't get off Twitter. Don't stop being awesome. We love you, and that's all that I'm going to say on this subject for now.